guys welcome to today's video so today we are talking about my top five favorite watercolors for 2021 or let's say my most used watercolors for this year as well so um, it's it's kind of a representation of the color palette I've been really loving this year and some of you may have already guessed some of these colors but um, so we are uh, first of all um, this whole weekend was supposed to be kind of a top um, favorite watercolors weekend so I have had to take it a little bit easy um, so we might just get this one video done but we, we do have another video coming that's going to have um, you know like a bunch of my favorite watercolors from this year and yeah you can see that I also did this gold frame on the uh, top of the page here and I just did a couple of videos about how to create these I really love adding one of those to the top of the page it really brings that kind of ambience to the page so you can see here some of the beautiful colors that we will be swatching in the next video um, and yeah this is so I think I have a video about this this is it has been um, my little art Kind of art journal or travels notebook this year but i use this little a6 um, notebook for uh, like swatches of new products and just little ideas and things like that so you can see in the beginning that i have some quotes and i have a couple of little sketches and things and then i have actually finished this whole uh, notebook uh, just before i did this video i think so um, I'm just kind of showing you a few other things there in the front but here I have um, put in the colors from last year so these were kind of some of my most used colors last year you can see like the neon pinks um, the softer sort of caramel colors uh, phantom fire that kind of uh, apricot um, iridescent color there and so you can see this this little a color wheel here so this was one I actually did in 2020 and kind of the colors I was really feeling at that time and then as I look back now I sort of created this more brighter version as well because I was using some of these colors and then I've just done this little chart here these were my most used colors in 2020 so you've got French ochre lemon yellow shell pink azalea and fuchsite and then the phantom fire so i will link all those below some are daniel smith uh, the shell pinks holbein and there are a couple of handmade watercolors there too and then this is the color palette the color wheel that i did for 2021 so i, I was having actually a hard time getting it to show up on camera how it looks in like when you see when you open the page it's really beautiful and sparkly um, you've also got see the number two there that's citadella that's the Walson Seymour gray that I've been really loving with kind of the granules in it um, and yeah but you can see kind of how the palette has changed a little bit and shifted from the 2020 on with the soft pinks and like the potter's pinks and then this this year it's gone a little bit more towards the lavenders and smoky colors um, so these are my top five favorites so so the nice thing about like having this little notebook here is that I can just um, make little kind of notes and things about what I'm sort of trying to, you know, when I'm looking to create a video, I can just kind of make little um, swatches and things in here prior to the video. And I just really enjoy that having kind of a, you know, like sketchbooks, sometimes you're a little bit precious with them. And this notebook has so many pages in it so I feel really um, fine to kind of use it really casually and just um, as I need to but you can see here so this was my first little swatch of uh, my like all of the colors that I've been really enjoying this year and I think this will change a little bit um, to the video that we swatch next because I didn't have a couple of my palettes there so yeah some some uh, things will be changed um, but that is a really good representation of a color palette that I have been really really loving this year and so I'll just show you through a couple of other pages here so um, these are really nice ideas for you to use in your sketchbooks so this one here 
um, these were colors I was cleaning off my palette um, my mixing palette in my you know in my palette and um, I, ne I needed kind of to uh, wipe it clean but I really really loved what was in there so I just put them here on this page and I've called it like my favorite palette dirt so it's just uh, colors that was you know I had used to mix they were left on my palette but I didn't want them to go to waste so I've made that page and I really love it um, and it's kind of a reminder of colors that I want to use in paintings so you can see here that I have been working on camera angles as well and I'm, I'm really struggling to figure out like where to put the camera and you know sometimes like when I just do the overhead shot um, yeah you can't really see the the what I want to show with the painting anyway so um, okay so this is the page that we're gonna uh, use to swatch out the top five favorites so this is on watercolor paper I'm, I'm not really loving this uh, sketchbook but um, yeah you can see here that I've just used the printables to cut out some uh, frames and wreaths from there so that's a really good idea if you are having a hard time um, you know sketching them or even if you just want new inspiration one of the first best ways to um, use like to learn that is to just become familiar with the things so you know cut them out use them throughout your sketchbook and yeah the other video I did as well I went over some of those with gold ink which is another really nice way um, to you know add on uh, to them so yeah I was going to use the one on the right there but uh, and sort of maybe use that to create a frame but I just thought I would just cut those out and uh, leave them as is and so we will get into the swatching so I have actually picked five colors and then an extra um, like interference color and um, yeah, so the first one here is Turner Artists Watercolor and it is uh, Pale Wisteria. So it's a very opaque color, um, which means it's, it's really milky. It's not a transparent, like a true transparent watercolor. So some might consider this a gouache, but I use it in, in a watercolor style. And I just really love... Um, sometimes having a really milky color like you know um, you may know that I love shell pink the Holbein shell pink and I think that this is a similar thing so um, where we'll talk about how I really want a transparent ochre in a minute I really don't mind a milky color as long as it's a pretty one so this one here is one of my all-time favorites this is Katia by Nibs watercolors or Nibs pens and ink and I'll link her shop below. I really, really love her sparkle colors and I particularly love this Katia. Uh, and it's a holographic, but it's got like an oyster undertone. It's really beautiful. So the next one here is another version of the Daniel Smith French Ochre. Uh, this is the Shell Harp Light by Earth Mineral Arts. So it's another um, softer ochre. And it's got a very pretty kind of uh, undertone to it so then this one here is Chinabrese this is by Wallace and Seymour and I really really love this color so I've been through a whole tube this year and there aren't any in the shop at the minute so um, if you are interested in this color it probably email so I get them from select fine arts if you're in the US it's hard to get them here so um, yeah, probably email if you're interested in that so he knows how many to order um, and then this one here is also by earth mineral arts this is the hematite violet so I love the Daniel Smith version I love this version um, it's just hematite violet is such a beautiful color and you can see the the color separation there so you've got the violet earth with the kind of um, kind of like with the Mars black and it's just a really beautiful granulating uh, feeling and you know it, it really takes on a character when you paint with it so the last thing that we're going to swatch here is the Daniel Smith 
duochrome lapis sunlight so this is like a um like it has like a, a green tinge and i really i think this is like the um fairy godmother filter for uh, paintings because it just makes everything have that kind of magic sparkle it is so beautiful and so like last year i really my extra one would have been phantom fire by rivervale which had like the peach kind of sparkle um, which is kind of a brighter version of the daniel smith interference copper but i really love i've been really really loving this one this year and you can see here in these mixes how beautiful this is so definitely fairy godmother quality So I've just done a few mixes here, the Pale Wisteria with the Duochrome Lapis, the Hematite Violet with the Duochrome, and then the Katia with the Shell Harp Light, and I think I mixed the Chinabrasa and the Shell Harp Light together at the end there. So um, you can see there, that, like with the Chinabrasa, this is such a light. It's a beautiful, so it's a, a different version of kind of the, the um, Naples Yellow maples yellow reddish from Schmincke but it's a very very beautiful beautiful mix and it's very light and that is something that I really love about you know certain colors I want them really um, beautifully soft and light and then these are my two favorite mixes from this year so the first one is Sugalite and Pearl White by so yeah both by Daniel Smith and the second one is Potter's Pink and Pearl White uh, the potter's pink is Windsor and Newton and the I think it's pearlescent white by Daniel Smith so those you can see there that I've just squeezed them in and mixed them into the half pan and I do have a video about how I do that and yeah that is everything guys you can see here that with the other frame here that I was thinking about I actually um, I put some I'll show you in a minute but I put some uh, double-sided tape just see down this edge and there just in an L shape there to kind of create a little tuck tuck spot or a little pocket there that I can just tuck in some little I've always got loose pieces of paper with swatches that I need somewhere to keep them so yeah that is our video for today I hope you enjoyed it um, and I will try and get the other video up this weekend if not maybe next weekend and then we will get started on um, December festivities so I hope you're doing well and um, I hope you have a really nice week and I will see you guys soon bye